Welcome back to creating a 5M framework uh, video. Um, this time, we're going to be working a little bit in uh, everything, I guess you could say. Uh, a couple things we're going to need to do is, it's going to be like more of a general thing to get everything set up. So we're going to copy and paste a um, few of this FX manifest stuff, and we're going to get a couple things going. As you can see, our admin does not have anything, so... We're gonna make an FX manifest for this. And starting off with server underscore scripts. We'll open bracket like that. And we'll do a client underscore scripts. Just like so. I'm gonna type in both these, so. Oops. Let me type in both of these, okay. I'm not going to type in both of these, but we're going to do a this shared slash sh dot lua. And that is going to grab the shared for that. We're going to paste that in right here. Now for server, we're going to obviously have a couple more. So we're going to do server dot lua. Uh, whoops. Server. Server slash sv underscore admin dot lua and i always like adding a comment if it's the end one though you don't have to uh and then client it was just cl admin right yeah. so we'll add that and that allows uh this script to now be started um and we're gonna copy and paste this one more time because we have to do it for our logs as well as that was missing so paste that in um really i'm just gonna do this i'm just gonna copy these in as well um so we have this but this is going to be config.lua and a lot of this in logs we weren't going to use uh it was more or less you could turn it on or off and i might be able to i'm probably going to have that in here uh where you could have it turned on or off in there if you wanted to have like death logs and stuff like that so server, we have a couple of things here. We have server underscore discord, which is our, I believe our discord rich presence. And then we have our SV underscore logs, which is our logs. And then we have CL underscore discord and CL underscore log death. Uh, personally, I'm not going to use that, and I'm not going to write a uh, config just yet. Uh, so we'll probably do that later when we get more in-depth with some of the admin stuff. But that is logs. At least the logs can now be started. So a couple of things more we're going to have to do is go into our resources. And we are going to ensure our clothing. I believe had a capital C, right? No, it did not. So we're going to ensure clothing, which is going to start up all that. So we have our base started, our admin, our elements. Uh, we could ensure logs as well. Let's just make sure this starts. And really, this logs is actually going to start up here after the base. And now we're going to do a couple more things. We're going to add something to base. Uh, this is going to be more of a short video just to... Uh, help clean a lot of things up but we saw for our clothing menu that we will need a drawing of 3d text uh to be basically displayed so that's what we're going to go into um we're going to put it in our events and it's going to be a client event and we're going to make it a exports here so uh we can go into the core and show everyone how we did this so it's just like this so I'm going to copy and paste this into our events after adding a comment uh, for drawing 3D text export. And we're going to paste, oh, let me grab the whole bar real quick. Eh, no, that was good. That was good enough. So we're going to put this in here. Um, so what we're going to call it is, obviously it's going to be draw 
Uh, we can do draw text or 3D text. Uh, for this one, we're just going to do a 3D text because it makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, our functions is going to be X, Y, and Z, and then text. Uh, as you're going to want to uh, display some text. So, a couple things in here. We're going to have a, a local uh, on screen. Uh, which is going to be an X and a Y, basically. So, uh, this is going to be comma X comma Y. And then that's going to equal. So that's going to equal to, I believe it's world 3D to screen 2D. Which is a X, Y, and Z. So... <clears throat> We'll open up this. We'll go to 5M Natives. And we'll just double check some things. So, world 3D. No. Is this the same thing? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is the exact same thing. Um, so, right here, world 3D to 2D, it's position, and then as vector 3. So, yeah. That will work just like that. And now we'll, we will have to unpack our tables chords, basically. So we're going to do a local, uh, how I uh, position X comma position Y comma position Z, just like this. And that's going to equal to our table dot unpack. And we're going to be unpacking get game play camcord cords cords, just like that and once again we could look here and see what this does it just gets your cords basically get your cords from the camera yeah okay so now we're going to do a couple things here so we're going to set our text scale uh so then it has scale and then size so uh, i'm going to put these to exact same so 0 0.4 on each one uh we're gonna set text i believe we could do font and then this is a font type um i'm gonna put four in here and i believe do they have font types in here no they don't um all right well i'm gonna put four we could always mess around with that and now we gotta set text proportional which is one and we gotta set the color. So set text color uh, two five five two five five two five five two ten. So it it's basically white. It is white with a lower uh, alpha, basically. Okay. So now we're gonna set a text entry. Entry. Set text entry. They switch that. They might have switched it. We're gonna just do it how I have it, and basically gonna type in string for this. Did they switch this? They might have switched it. Um, they might have switched it, but I'm gonna leave it there and just hope it works. All right. So now we're gonna set text to center which is gonna be aligned to one, which is the center. And then we are gonna add our text component. So add text component, add text component. And I spell stuff wrong. Okay, add text component string. And that's just gonna be our text. And then we're gonna draw text. Leave it's just draw text just like so and now it's going to be our x comma our y just from up here for basic basically just up here i might want to name these different um do x2 and then y2 just to make sure because technically we're getting these and we don't want them to overwrite so we'll just do that for now and now we will do a local hmm, factor, I guess. A 
how you're going to see it. So this is going to be a string dot len. And it's going to be our text. And then, oops, divided by 350. And then we're going to draw react. Oh, see, this isn't here, though. That's that's cool. So we're x2, uh, y2, our width, um, actually our y should be up higher because technically if you have a certain height, if you're getting your cords from your position, it's going to get the ground cords. So you want to go up a little higher actually with this. So we'll do plus what, 0 0.15, no, 0 0.015, something like that. Um, our width, our width will just set the same to, uh, this is 0 0.015 uh, plus, oops, plus our factor. Our height, let's just do this for now, RGBA. So, what's black? 2000, and I don't know, like 50. 50 for A. And that should be it. So now how are we calling this? It's gonna be export this base and then our should be basically like this. From where you want to draw text, which is perfectly fine. Let's see how long. Eleven minutes. Um I think I'm gonna call it there, and then we will because we're gonna to have to do more in the base. So let's talk about this a little bit and then we will uh, go off. A couple things in here uh, when creating a character we're gonna have to do a few more things uh, database wise so our creating a character we're gonna have something new in here which is gonna be a I'm gonna add a comment uh, new clear uh, which is gonna be a boolean value so zero or one and then if it is a new player it would be one obviously uh, so if new player basically then it would skip a couple steps basically spawn you where we put you want where you uh, where we put you to spawn and so on and it would skip a lot of this and then open the clothing menu and all that but that is for a later date thank you guys for watching remember to leave a like comment all the good stuff have a good one